Greetings, creatures of the tubes. Mm -hmm. If you're wondering what the heck this black stuff here is, those are Halloween bats. Anyway, I'm pretty sure most of you have seen those outrageous scenes from Hollywood action movies where firearms seem to have supernatural abilities pretty much and uh, you, you've got the main hero like dual wielding pistols and gangster style nonetheless and fire blasting away at the bad guy who then is struck and flies through the air backwards and crashes through a window and falls down 20 stories down uh, those kinds of things and um, the problem is that movies kind of inform people even though I mean most sane people are well aware that it's fiction but some still seem to think that they depict things in the way they would actually work to some extent so they actually think that a firearm would do that but the problem is when you're propelling any kind of projectile with whatever firearm you have equal force traveling in both directions the force that propels the bullet outwards also goes backwards which is why you have recoil and which is also why semi-auto handguns work the force that pushes backward cycles the slide that's what happens and you have to deal with that have you ever tried standing on very smooth ice and pushing someone who's standing on firm ground what's gonna happen you'll push yourself away because you don't have firm ground you cannot uh, use your muscle power to counteract the force that you're exerting yourself and so you move backwards and uh, in other words if I wanted to knock down someone if I wanted to send someone flying with a bullet from a firearm I would have to be flying myself because with the same force I would go whoa <laughs> and crash through something myself it's especially ludicrous to see that with pistols because pistols are not all that powerful compared to a rifle a pistol is pretty tame I mean the average pistol round is, I mean, depends a lot on the caliber, but it's something like this length, approximately. The average rifle round is more like this. So it has a lot more powder and therefore exerts a lot more force. So sending someone flying through the air with a freaking pistol? Not gonna happen. And if it did, it would fly out of your hand at the very least. Another one of those things that just hurt my head.